guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I am pregnant. <laughs> and this is baby number three. So we're expecting a girl. And I just wanted to share really quick what's in my hospital bag. So I purchased this at Costco. It's a 15 um, inch luggage. And I'm gonna go through this quick. So um, I've already filmed it several times and for some reason my um, speaker is not working or picking up my voice very well so um, I'm going to go through it and hopefully the um, sound sounds better and um, it doesn't sound like I'm mumbling so um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So um, I bought some cubes on Amazon for $15.99 so I just went in the fridge store and put um, packing, um, packing cubes and these came up so I got the new tone colors. They have all kinds of colors, sizes. Um, there's some that have five cubes up to like 12 cubes. It just depends. I just got the seven cubed one. Um, so this is my toiletry bag. It has like a mesh. And in here I have um, a hairbrush, a clip, a hair tie. You see the hair tie? Another hair tie. Uh, chapstick, which actually need right now. A uh, hand sanitizer, the Kiss Mango. I have a uh, body spray, my little pond nourishing, uh, deodorant, some living proof dry shampoo, some Jurgen's original scent, and some makeup removal wipes and some mint. Um, I do plan on taking a small um, makeup case. It's just a little fifth. I think it's a fifteen. No, it's smaller than that. I forgot which one it is. Tell. Beautiful. Or oh, you go in the top one, the top little drawer on my vanity, and grab, open it. I gave me a little toiletry bag from Louis Vuitton, the little baggie. Mm -hmm. The brown one. Mm. Yeah, bring it. Please. Mm -hmm. Thank you, honey. Okay, so this Hi. one here, go ahead, it's fine, huh? So this one here, um, I'm going to take this one with me, but since this one I usually have in my, my little vanity like to go, I'll just grab it and just add it to my bag. So in here I just have um, a mascara. I'm not planning on doing like a full set of makeup, but um, one time where you go home and do like our little pictures before we head out, um, I do want to add some makeup. So, uh, mascara, Smashbox, uh, Victoria's Secret Brow or Never Little Filler. Oh, I love this one, you guys. The Too Faced um, Chocolate. This one I got in an Etsy bag. <laughs> it's already hitting the pan, you guys. <laughs> but I love it. I love the smell and I love how it like goes on, how it applies. I have my little eyebrow brush. I have this Stella, um, what color is it? A luminous shimmer. It doesn't say the color, but, um, this is another, like, little to-go one that I got. And my soft lips. I have some gum. My Hello Flawless, like, for just, like, my under eyes and my chin and a little bit, like, near my nose. I have my little Laura Mercier, Laura Mar um, Mercier, little eyelash curler. If not, if I don't have my eyelashes done by then. And then I have some Summer Eve wipes. This is what I usually carry. A small liner, band-aids, a ton of hair ties. A small little blending brush. Um, this one, oh, this um, Stella, I don't know. This was an, it, an Ipsy bag. And this thing is like, oh, it's so like it applies so nice. A Stella eyeliner, a Versace Bright Crystal Roll Sample that came with my big Versace one that they got me at Macy's, and another chapstick. It has too many chapsticks. So as you can see, I just kind of add to this without even looking through to see what I already have in here. So if I have like doubles and triples of everything in here, but this one I'll just kind of toss in here. I mean, in my in my um, hospital bag. So if I need to put on some mascara or whatever, I'll just add that. So there's that one. 
And then my next packing cube is the next one. This is the one that um, houses my clothes I'm going to wear at the hospital. So usually when you get there, they give you their gown, and I am all for it. I use everything that they give me because I'm not going to be putting my brand new stuff or like nice stuff at the hospital. So however long I take in delivery, that's the gown that I'm going to be wearing, that like yucky greenish one. And then after uh, they start taking everything off and I shower or use my dry shampoo and then um, like do a little, a little like bird bath of my body, then I'll change into this here. So the first thing I usually change into is a, um, this one I got at TJ Maxx. It's just a long t-shirt that I'll change into. This is just Calvin Klein, it's dark gray, and I went with all dark colors. And then I'll just change into this. And um, I'll wear this with a robe. So here, and I have my socks. So I'll wear socks, my slippers, that, and I'll just throw a robe on top just in case. And sometimes the hospitals are like really cool, so I'll just throw that on top just to have like extra clothes on. So this one here I got from Target. It's Acceleration, and it has a little hood, and it says um, three four three. So I love that because I don't like to um, I don't like the long sleeve ones. Oh, they drive me crazy because I feel like I'm always going like this when I need to wash my hands and stuff. So I just don't deal with that. And then I brought an extra robe. This is gonna be the robe I wear with for my once my daughter is here. I got this one at TJ Maxx. It's a Tahari. It's a really pretty floral. So this is the one I'm going to wear with her to take um, mommy and me pictures in. And then I'll just put her in like a nude swaddle when I wear that one. And then to go home, these are also uh, TJ Maxx so much as I forgot. But it's just like a little Calvin Klein little set. These I got in a medium and then the shirt I got in an XL I don't know why it's because TJ Maxx they sometimes people like they move stuff around yeah like this is an extra large I mean it was a set together but I think just people just mix mix stuff up all the time because that wasn't this cute I'll put it away in a little bit because I need to film this back <laughs> not right now beautiful give me a second oh, and no, then in my I'm next packing queue this houses all of my Essentials for the yucky stuff that comes after you deliver that nobody likes to talk about. They like to talk about the fun part, but um, in here I have four long always pads. These I'm not planning on using at the hospital until I'm ready to go home. Once they say okay, it's um, it's time for you to check out, then I'll put this outfit on. I'll put on my chonies that I brought from home. And these. Everything else, I'm wearing the mesh panty that they give you, all that. I'm wearing that at the hospital. That's the one I go home. So for these, I brought three of these panties. These ones are, are from Amazon. Sorry, I haven't really been... Oh, yes, I have. I've been telling you where I got them. These are Amazon. So I just put in the search bar, a maternity um, undies, and they pop up. So I, got, I brought three of those. I have one extra pair here at home. One maternity bra of course with the clip okay just for easy um actually for the baby these are already washed up so one of these and then and i could go home in this too and then one gray one this one i got it's the medela one from target yeah the medela one and this is more like of a t-shirt one. And the same thing, it does the same thing. You just unclip it and then um, the goodies pop out for the baby. So this one. So just one and one. You don't need to, I know a lot of people like to like overpack. I mean, by all means, if it makes you feel prepared and ready to go, do it. But in my case, I'm like, this is the third round. This is the third time I go into labor and delivery. So I already kind of like know what you really need and what you don't and honestly like I don't even know if I'm going to end up wearing this robe at the hospital um depending on how I feel if I feel exhausted I'm not going to I'll just wait get home and do that photo shoot with her me holding her I'll do it maybe here on my bed or what have you but um yeah for the most part 
I already kind of know. And then I bought this faja or girl, I don't know, a faja from Amazon. So this is a postpartum one. It's a three-piece set. So, um, okay, you guys. With When it comes to this, I already kind of know because with my firstborn, I did the, the faja, the one from um, the Belly Bandit. And I got this like limited edition from Kourtney Kardashian. And that one I got in a size small. At that time I was being blind. I was like, I thought, oh, I'm gonna have a baby and my stomach's gonna go down. I just need to add that. No, you're still basically pregnant. So I should have gotten that one in a size large. I didn't. And then um, with my son, I went and I got another faca, but I got the size large because I was like, okay, I was still in reality pregnant after I had the baby. So I did do the si the sizing was correct. But I did it with the ganchos, like the, the hooks on it, um, the metal hooks. And so it was really hard for myself and my husband and my mom to like help me like get it on there. So this time I went with my size and I did Velcro. So that's why this one I'm really excited about. Hopefully it works. So um, I'll let you guys know if it does work or not and how it went for me like right after delivery. And then I also brought some of my little slim mate tees um, from Tadden. So these, um, I usually have at the hospital, I ask for a hot cup of water and I'll have some of my tea, um, just to kind of help me relax and, and take care of myself a little bit while I'm there. So there's that one. So this is all stuff in this, in here. So this is just like stuff when I, I'm ready to get going and eat my undergarments or what have you. So this one. I'll pack my bread because it's in the bag. This other one has to be my rolling yeah. techniques. Okay, so that was in this side of the of the suitcase. It's a 15 inch. I I mean, for me in my case, I don't feel like I needed a 20 inch case. I'm like, with this one's fine. It works perfect. Because then I do, I'll end up with more. And then in my next case, this is more like a like a little laundry, and I'm gonna use it like after I'm done um, using like my little nightgown or what have you. This houses my slippers. So these I got at TJ Maxx for like $7.99. The deer foam ones. These are so cute. These remind me of my mom and my sister. My sister had some of these and she wore them out. And I was like, sister, you need slippers? And she's like, no, nope, no, nope, they're my slippers. So I feel like, you know, we get attached to our little slippers or what have you. But once you have it, it's like, no, oh, those are the ones that I use for you know, years to come. Okay, and on this side, right here in this little mess room, this is where I had the slippers with the um, little laundry bag. And then under here, it's really neat because it's like only like a couple, like someone think like two inches. But in here, I put the, my other packing cube, and this one has a baby bag. So I don't have to take your diaper bag, which makes me happy because honestly, like, it's yucky. Hospitals, people are in and out of their like cattle. I'm like, I don't need to have her nice diaper bag there in the hospital. So I just packed her. A packing cube. So let me show you what I put in here. This one I'm most excited about, of course. This one's a fun one. The one that you wait for nine months to do. Okay. So in this one, I have two little pairs of really warm little socks. These are Carter's. I got them at Bye Bye Baby. And then I got her a little creamy onesie. This is so when she sleeps at night because the hospitals get very cold. So I brought her this one, along with little mittens and a little hat. So that's just her little sleeping. I got her a little onesie, this one, and the snuggle time um, little swaddle. This one was my son's, but he didn't like it. He just felt like he was like stressed and there's too much, so I'll take it to my daughter and see how she likes it. Okay, so that's that one for the night. And then, right when she comes out, I'm going to just change her diaper, leave her umbilical cord, leave all those little straps. I'm just going to put a little bow on her with this little rose diaper and do pictures of her, like, just freshly out the womb. So that's what I have with this one diaper. Cause, and then, plus, the hospital gives you so many. They're even, like, gets you packs of diapers. Like, do you need diapers? And they'll just give you diapers. So I'm not going to... I just wanted this one for the picture. And then I'm going to, this is her going home outfit. 
So for this one, I have this little outfit I got her at Carter's. And then the little pants. And that's it. That's the little going home outfit. And then I have the little white onesie that I'll put on. Just that one. Yes, good day. And then I brought her a little birth cloth. This is just a normal little muslin birth cloth. And then here's her swaddle that I'm going to be. This is a posh, um, the posh baby, something like that. Her swaddle, this is the one I'm going to wrap her in and um, see her newborn pictures in oh. at the hospital with her little sign that says, um, Hello, I'm here. Hello, Pepe. And then in this little one, because I need to take a photo for the bedtime. And this one I have. Um, the little headband. Yeah, pa oh, sorry, it's Posh Peanut. It says Posh Peanut, I'm sorry, I don't know if you can see, but that's the brand of the, of that swaddle. And then I brought her a big black bow. And then I brought her a white one. Pink. The little dainty one for the diaper, and then this olive green one. And her little pacifier. And then, um, I was going to wait to film this video because her little sign hasn't came in, but it's just a little, um, sign that says, like, hello, I'm here, hello world, I'm here, something like that. And so that's going to go, like, next to her. I was going to do the letter board, but I'm just like, I don't have time, like, after the due soon or, like, I already have it pre-filled and just add, like, the weight and the time and all that other fun stuff. But I'm like, I'm not going to do it. I have... This, she's already my third one. I'm like, I don't have time to be adding anything. I'm just going to um, add her little sign there. And that's it. So that one should be coming in the mail because I ordered on Amazon. That one should be coming in the mail tomorrow. And then, um, yeah, you guys, that's it. So I hope you found some of this helpful. And again, um, hopefully the sound was a lot better on this one. And I did go a lot quicker than my other ones were like running almost 30 minutes and I was like, okay, no one's going to want to stay here for 30 minutes to hear me rambling about what you just really need for the hospital. So I hope this helped because I really wish for my first one, my second one, I didn't have to, so I didn't film, but with my son, I knew exactly what to take and it was perfect. I just didn't film it and I kind of regret it because I'm like, oh, I wish I would have looked back. And so that's why this time around, the third time, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to film it. I don't care if nobody watches it, but I just, I want it just for me. So if I ever have come to have another one, um, I can look back and be like, oh, that's what I took. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.